Look, man. There's a lot of you dudes on YouTube. I get it. Things in life goes up and down. But I don't make videos about people the way y'all want me to make them because I don't have hate for folks like that. I would never waste my time dissing Charleston White in order to make other gang members feel good. You know what I'm saying? It's one thing that I don't go out my way disrespecting you gang members or, or anybody involving gangs. I'm not about to come be your hero and leaders to diss Charleston White. A lot of you people who watch me and follow me know I make videos supporting Charleston White. Majority of the people who say they watch me, you know I have like six or seven videos supporting that man. So no, I'm not going to do what everybody else does. It's a hundred dudes out here doing a diss video to Charleston White. Kudos to y'all. I'm not going to do this, bruh. I don't diss anybody because I feel in the mold or it's a gang activity, meaning it's a group of people who want to join together to be against one person, whether it's for views, whether it's because you feel like that for real. I don't know. I can't get in no drama like that when I appreciate what the man is actually doing. At the end of the day, gang's going to have their side of the defense of why they don't like Charleston, X, Y, and Z. And I say like this to any gang member, cool. That's what you feel and that's what they feel. And the world would be better if you left it at that. But I've noticed everybody got an outrage towards Charleston White and what he say. Do he say some disrespectful things? Yes. But at the end of the day, Charleston White is somebody like me and you. He got his fame just being his own self. These other folks are part of secret societies, groups, celebrities who join different servitude type of things. And the only person y'all worrying about is a regular dude like Charleston White. Well, I'm not. People going to say, bless one, but I seen you made a video about gang member and this and that. M maybe. And I'll probably agree with you. What that got to do with Charleston White? I see Charleston White saying we don't need no more dudes like that who just puts fear in the community and now want to get together and, and do X, Y, and Z. Now, again, if you're a gang member and you do your part to protect the community, protect the youth, all that, activists, all that, you know I ain't talking to you. The only dudes who get in their feelings is the people who get stuck in that evil type of way where we need to, to eradicate it out the community. Meaning that that's why I grew with Charleston White because I see it. The level of hate niggas got. I seen niggas make 30 videos a day of Charleston White. There was a crip nigga in Cali that I kind of like some of his other message. I let him know too. I think the C-Bone dude. He's a cool dude. I support him and salute him as far as he seems like he's one of the gangbangers trying to make change in his neighborhood. But my thing is, he has like a hundred some videos about Charleston White. Then he'll make it look like Charleston White is bothering him. But my thing is, bro, don't hide the rock. I mean, the hand that threw the rock. I know people say it a different way around, but I'm going to say don't hide the hand that threw the rock. You started, up, um, started going back and forth with that man. And shout out to my beautiful Asian folks out there. But you started with him even defending groups of other ethnicities such as the ones I've just said just to go at your brother. You went at him first. You can't go at somebody and when they come at you, they come at you a certain way. Now you complain. This person keeps talking about me. This, But you, you push the dude educational purpose first. That energy that you have should be put towards building. That energy that you throwing out there, oh, I'm, I don't like what this guy says, so I'm going to be the police grammar and what other black folks say. Let's just keep it real. If I've seen gang members, and I'm not saying if this is what all gangs do or whatever, I'm telling you what I've seen on the internet and in real life and in job court, all that. I'm going to go deep in that job court one, but I've seen gang members get together and unite to be against one dude that's speaking about protecting the youth and actually contradicting their statements how gangs don't really help. Gangs actually harm, kill innocent youth. And I've seen Charleston and others back it up with stats, yet these same gang members, they got this level of hate towards the, the messenger. They want to destroy the messenger. They want to do so many things to the messenger. But when I see police shootings, I see dudes getting ransacked in their neighborhoods by the oppressor. All type of madness going on in the communities. Where is these niggas to find? 
I don't see it. I, I know we're going to keep saying, but I do that. But it sounds good. But we know what the majority is doing out here. It's all for myself and my gang. It ain't for the entire community. Let's quit capping. And I'm not mad at that. You want to make your own membership groups, quote unquote, alleged gangs or whatever. Everybody's entitled to that. In fact, America is built up on gangs. So I know the history of gangs. I know what tribalism is when it comes to us doing that. I'm not coming at nobody sideways like that because you throw the B's or the C's or GD's. I'm just saying I like Charleston White. I like the message that he does. So I don't have videos knocking down other gangs, but Charleston White does. And I like his message. I'm not the one going out doing what he's doing. So why wouldn't I give him props for doing something that none of us do? Some of us need to be making videos going up against gangs. The reason why I don't do that for a lot of the wrongs I do and the rights I do, I know my people. I'm not going to go deep into that. Why I don't do those videos? But our people hate each other. Our people wake up every day with fake beef for each other. You'll see somebody you didn't see in a minute, right? And... They never hit you up or whatever. And then when they hit you up and you can't, you know, look out for somebody or do something the way they want you to, now you an enemy. Why it can't be? Because your real life is hard already. In fact, even when I do these YouTube videos, y'all y'all know I'm like the only YouTuber who don't schedule or plan. It got to be a feeling that I have to do this. So my feeling was to wake up today because I seen something institutional that can wake up and inspire our people that Charleston White did. I sat down and I thought about, it's a hundred niggas against Charleston White. If all you niggas use that energy for the real things plaguing the community, but you won't. You know Charleston White is lit right now. So if you choose to talk about him and make it look like he's the problem of the community, then it'll get you more views, more variety, because you know he's a hated man. The truth is 90% of the folks love Charleston White. It's those 10% who can't make away from themselves. So it's only the attack, attack, attack. You mean to tell me all the ops you got in real life, all the bad that's been done to you in the world, Charleston White is the nigga that's in your mind? Nigga. Charleston White is the nigga that you niggas is worried about? Charleston White, look, man, this platform backs you up. You say things that's left field sometimes that I agree to disagree. Meaning I've did videos saying that I don't agree with Charleston White on the DMX situation. I don't. I really believe that's the powers be. Now, I do agree with Charleston White on DMX as far as accountability, integrity, because you have to have two of those things to keep standing out here. Other than that, I'm not going to stop supporting a movement that can potentially protect my kids in the future because I got kids. I'm a father. I've noticed many people who aren't parents out here, it's easy for them to reject a, a good message that could save their future kids, their nieces and nephews, their, their, their friends' kids, things like that. But they, these motherfuckers don't care, bro. Because honestly, in our community, if it doesn't affect you, folks keep it moving. And when, if, if, when it's something that bothers them, they want to make a whole movement, I don't do that. I see like 500 some gang members, and I'm exaggerating the numbers. I understand that, but I'm doing what a lot of you folks do. But I'm going to continue with the exaggeration. I see like 500 some dudes or members, whatever, making videos about this man relentlessly. And I'm just, I'm just thinking, bro, like all the dudes who've done us wrong as a community in real life, you don't see them make one video about, that's my challenge to them. Look, if you want to be a clout chaser or if you want to do a fake beef and act like Charleston White is the boogeyman or the Freddy Krueger or the cancer cells educational purpose of the black community, go ahead. That's why YouTube is beautiful. Everybody can talk about what they want to talk about so as long as you follow the guidelines. But my only challenge to you guys is, can you go do something about the police? The systemic so-called systematic oppression against us, the housing um, the housing um, sectors that, that are discriminating against us, the, the, the education field. Like, it's a whole lot, bro. It's, it's too much. That's my whole point that I'm shocked. Niggas really got the time to be focused on that nigga every day. I don't, bro. He don't do anything that speaks against my family values. What I mean, if he smokes weed and all that and you want to do that, then you have to talk about everybody who smokes weed, including me, but you won't. And even if y'all don't, that's what I'm trying to say. It's like trying to, a moral ethic, trying to clean up this side, but this whole entire field is dirty and you looking at that tiny speck to act like that speck is a problem of the whole house. Meanwhile, there's a mudslide in the house and you don't say nothing about the mudslide. You ignore it to focus on that tiny speck. 
that's a level of madness in our community. I'm not going to continue that. Charleston White, salute to you, man. I see your new YouTube channel is popping. Y'all go to the link in the description box and go find Charleston White. His link to his new channel is in the description box. The reason why I'm doing that, I'm a father out here at the end of the day. You know what I mean? I ain't going around saying nothing negative against gangs, but don't stop me for what system I love being a father here. Because it could be one of my enemies who's spreading a good message on YouTube. If it's something potentially that can be good for my kids, bro, I'm going to rock with you regardless of how we feel about each other. That's just, that's just how it's always going to be. I'm a father out here and shit. I want to be a community leader one day. Big fact, I ain't joking. I don't want to be in my 40s and 50s still trying to thug it out. Hell, I don't even try to do that shit in my 30s. I mean, I'll be falling down a little bit, but that, that, that look weird, bro. Where's the growth? And our communities, niggas can't be grown and trying to be cool and thug it out every single second. It look goofy at a certain point in time. Just being real, bro. I got love for everybody, but I can't keep doing the fake beef things or nothing like that, bro. I got a good heart. And when you got a good heart in this community, niggas going to act like they can potentially take some away so they can, you know, gain that type of notoriety of beefing with you. Look, y'all, anybody who don't like me, feel free to make videos, make beefs, but you ain't going to get a reply from me. I'm just being real. I like the movements of old heads like Charleston White, who's not really old. In fact, we need to take that out of our vocabulary. This man is in his early 40s. That's not old to me at all. He's still got a lot of living to do. And I hope the Most High bless people like him and all you guys out there that do the difference in the community that make sure my children will be protected. Not these folks out there who continue to push an agenda that brings harm to us, but I will continue lift up them people who only focus on the better good. I don't care if they're a character, they say slick things on the net. It doesn't matter to me as long as they doing the work. Because a lot of people do this, but he's one of the ones that do the work. And I'm going to say salute to his work and the progress he's done in the community. Shout out to all them good folks in Texas. I'm your God bless one, man. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Love your family. Love your kids. And always definitely, definitely at best, stay blessed, gang. Salute.